then first one okay so its name is called a fit okay field effect transistor field effect transistor okay so in that one what we are going to see about that one that construction and the working so we will going to see about the construction working and the characteristics three things we will going to see about in the topic okay first one this is a we will going to see something about what is the general introduction about the fit fit is a it is a one of the voltage control device one of a voltage control device so why it is a voltage control device means the input it is it is a voltage pin now one in means you can say okay input input you are going to input you are going to apply the voltage so you will going to apply the voltage so if you are going to variation of the resistance the voltage values it will going to vary based on the voltage value the output is on and off on and off so that's why it is called a voltage control device okay the next one first one we want you want to know about terminals so what are the terminals of that fit field effect transistors so fit consists of that one is a okay gate drain source as usual for that one mosfet actually the next version of this fit is called mosfet mosfet okay next version of that one is called yeah next one in this version is called mosfet okay so you can draw the fit diagram so you will going to it consists of that one this side is a gate terminal then here you will going to drive okay here is a drain and a source this is a terminal this is a symbol of that one so you can give the na uh, terminal name drain gate okay gate terminal drain terminal and the source terminal that's all this is a, about the fit fit symbol of the fit the next one the types of the fit so it will going to classify under two types one is n channel another one is a p channel so do you remember transistors so there are three terminals on the transistor this is also as usual because this is also field effect transistors okay here is a transistor so base collector and the emitter okay so here you will going to say about n okay npn transistor and pnp transistors okay how you will going to say it is a arrow mice arrow is outward direction if it is outward direction means the center terminal is a p so n p n transistors arrow is outward direction means p channel outward directions whether that the gate terminal is inward direction or outward direction yes it's outward direction if it is a outward direction means it is a p channel p channel of the fit as is well p i am also saying as is well outward direction p so if it is n channel n channel means here is a you will going to draw okay so one second i will going to draw for you your understanding so base terminal collector terminal and emitter terminal this emitter terminal arrow is inside inward direction if it is inward direction means n n is e, n is come on the center then here is a p and a p you will going to write so it is called as a p and p transistors so it similarly fit you will going to draw three terminal okay drain source and gate terminal okay arrow is a okay what is the arrow inward direction if you will going to draw right inward direction means it is n channel so this is n channel fit and <coughs> this is a p channel fit so this is a part you will going to learn now one of the one one things you have learned that that is called n channel fit and p channel fit n channel fit and p channel fit the next one n channel fit what is the n channel fit n channel is n for that one is electrons n for that electrons p for that holes so n for electrons and p for holes okay n for electrons and p for that majority point is called electrons and p for that holes okay so i will going to type so n is n for electrons okay electrons and p for holes okay so this is about that once so this is a based you will going to make the construction is this is a based make you will going to make the construction okay you will going to make the constructions okay see that one construction is developed so what is the construction is developed okay so here okay here what is that p is their central layer so it is a p type of the channel so p type of the channel p type of channel means see here is a major of the portion is covered by the p <coughs> excuse me so major of the po <coughs> portion is covered by the p that's why it's a p channel so this is what about that one it's a major of the portion is covered by the n that's why it is a n channel that's why it is n channel so p channel 
n channel n channel for the electrons and the p channel for the holes okay then you can see the construction of the further uh, further about the construction okay how the terminals so p okay here is a n portion is there if it is n portion means what is that one this is called p portion and this is called p portion p portion so there are two pn pn junction so pn and pn there are two pn junctions there are two bn junction is used that's all there are two pn junction okay <coughs> so first one the major portion is here p that's why p time p channel major portion is n that's why n channel okay so if it is n channel is major means so here is you will going to draw the p and here you will going to draw the p and this two p is connected the connecting point is called gate the top is called you will going to connect it to the drain and the bottom you will going to connect it to the source so there are three terminal is repre representation is over so next to further you will go to take any one of that uh, channel you will go to further we will go to proceed okay so i will going to take the for example this is one of the example i will going to take about that uh, n channel further i will going to proceed on that one and uh, further uh, <coughs> introductions yeah so uh, yeah we will going to see that one source we will going to give that one so how to give the source see here okay so here okay gate with respect to the source gate with respect to the source you will going to give the power supply another one is a drain with respect to the source you will going to give the power supply so this is a p time p channel so uh, i don't want that the p, p, p channel let's i will going to proceed with the n channel that is easy to you will going to follow okay so what about that one n channel so major portion is n okay in that one p and the p is there so i will going to give the power supply so gate with respect to the source and then drain with respect to the source okay for here there are two case you have working wise when you have c there are two case what are the two case case number 1 okay case number 1 is a input voltage is you are going to apply to the zero okay so case number 1 is a input voltage is zero vgs what is the input voltage so this is gate to the source that is called the input that is the input so input is a zero you will going to apply then case number 2 you will going to see about that one input voltage is a less than the zero less than the zero so here the circuit diagram is this is a diagram is showing as an less than the zero less than the zero means negative voltage is applied to the gate terminal with respect to the source with respect to the source okay so it is a n channel and a p channel n is a major portion is covered and then it is called a n channel uh, fit another one is a p channel fit means p is a major portion is covered that's why it's a p channel fit okay so fit or a j j fit means what is the j j is a junction junction field effect transistor j for denoted for that is junction so junction field effect transistors okay so so major portion is covered means n channel so we'll take any one of that one and further we'll going to proceed okay i have i took for that one n channel so n channel i took on that ones and then we, i will go to further further we'll going to proceed n channel of the fit okay what about here okay there are okay here is there are two p layer is there this side this side the p layer is joined through the gate terminal it is joined on that one p layer okay here is a drain and then here is a source okay it is a construction it is a construction of that portions so how many layer is formed there are p and n it's a one one pn junction one pn junction and this side is another pn junction so totally two pn junction is formed there are totally two pn junction is formed okay so due to the p two pn junction so two deflection layer region there are it is called a two deflection region what is the region deflection region deflection region that's all so two deflection regions okay then next one okay uh, what we will going to do we will going to go, okay this is uh, this is a dotted arrow means represented for deflection regions so that dotted line is a represented deflection regions okay so it is a concept is a, so far we are uh, discuss about the introduction the next one we will going to see about that one it's a working of that this uh, j fit and followed by we will see about the characteristics so working of that j fit is a uh, it is similar to simple analog we will going to take it that is called a normal okay a tap you will going to take about the tap the okay it is a overhead tank is there so overhead tank it is what is that the water is there so uh, it is a uh, from overhead tank is connected i mean through the pipe it is connected to that tap and a tap to that one okay here is a outlet okay here is a sink okay sink may okay it will going to sink okay so the water is coming from here okay the water is uh, coming from here 
to the sink okay so who is the control or what is the control means this is a wall so this wall is open and closed to you can control if if you are not use this wall means so you don't have the any control so this is a control closing the tap so that is nothing but a gate terminal that is a gate terminal is a plays a major role plays a major role so for example this is a potential difference is take place then only water is coming potential difference the force is a more force okay it will go to normally the tank of that one overhead tank is keep on the top of the building so why means potential differences take place so potential differences take place that's why water is coming coming from the tank to the uh, tap so that's why it is you can potential difference potential difference of the gate and with respect to the source so vgs you can see vgs okay so gate terminal it's a wall wall is a controller so here is a gate is a controller gate is a controller gate is a controller then next one here is a drain is there what is a drain so drain is a terminals so here is a source is a it is a terminal okay there are two terminal is there so what happen okay once you will going to start to give the power supply so once you will going to give the power supply for example i have given that one okay power supply plus with respect to minus i have connected okay once i have connected okay what will happen electrons is generated electrons it's a free electrons see that one from the point of the source terminal electrons is created this electrons is a move towards to the this directions the electrons is move towards to the this direction it's a move this is called what is that one so once you will going to give the power supply so here is a conventional current so drain current is called conventional current so conventional current is start to move from that opposite to opposite direction of the electrons so kind of opposite direction of the electron conventional current is a flow okay conventional current is a flow so when it is a flow when it is not flow practically what is happen everything i will going to come to you slowly so first you you want to valve valve is nothing but a gate terminal gate is nothing but a valve terminal so you know that one this tap is totally depend on the valve so open the valve and close the valve it is totally totally dependent then sink sink is what what is that one so water is coming from here the sink is a collecting that one terminal okay this is called the sink so this is called the electron this is called what is this one this is called the electron so this electron is coming it's a collecting so here is a going on that one sink is nothing but a, okay electron collecting point so it's called drain so drain what is a drain so electron is coming coming electron is a coming to the drain the water is coming so this is called what about that one this is called a source so source you can say okay tank also you can say source and then from the point is a source also you can say okay so this is about that analogy okay analogy okay that's all okay and uh, yeah the same thing i will going to show you okay okay the flow of the electrons the electron is start to flow okay from where it is a flow from that a source to the drain is electron is flow and conventional current is a flow from that drain to the source is conventional current is a flow electron is a flow from source to the drain okay similarly how the water is a flow the same method okay the so water is nothing but here is electron water is nothing but electrons okay so this valve is nothing but a gate terminal is a valve is a gate terminal okay the sink is now what is the sink sink is a electron collecting terminal so electron top is a drain that is a sink is nothing but a drain okay then where is the source so source is the who is giving for electron so who is giving the electron that is called the source so here is a this is also find is called a source that's all so this is a method it is a working then uh, next one will is will go ahead on the to working there are two type of the cases case number 1 is a vgs equal to 0 vgs equal to 0 this is a case number 1 and the case number 2 is a vgs is a less than the 0 less than the 0 there are two cases okay uh, next we will go ahead on the to working of the to mosfet oh, sorry fit working of the fit so here you should be know about that one now we are discuss about the n channel n channel means the vgs the vgs is a, it will go into vgs is less than the zero so a vgs is working on that less than the zero n channel if it is a p channel means what is just opposite so it's called n channel p channel means vgs equal to greater than zero vgs is equal to greater than zero so we'll going to proceed on n channel so vgs is less than zero there are two cases we are going to discuss one is the zero another one is vgs equal to less than the zero what about the working of the fit 
that's all so first one vg is equal to zero vg is zero means what is that one there is a no potential difference between the gate and the source so it's nothing but it's a close or you will going to give the sources so zero voltage you are going to apply that is nothing but it's a zero potential drop zero is a no